Hi there. Uh, my name is Mike Sable. Uh, do you like Skype? Now, I wouldn't say this is the most optimum way of working with people. Uh, but for the world that we live in, this is the only way for people to be able to interact. And uh, since we're all being shuffled around the world quite a bit, it's a very practical and easy way to, uh, to learn English. So we have to adapt to this uh, new uh, new technique. So about myself, I have the usual uh, Bachelor of Arts degree, the TEFL certificate. Everybody and their grandma must have that by now, as well as a degree in something there. So, uh, uh, so what do you think about the the schools, the English language schools? I'll tell you that uh, a lot of them seem to be just uh, generating good emotions. Uh, people going for some type of um, a connection with each other, and, uh, and that's about it. And uh, to feel good about the, the school, to feel good about yourself, to feel good about life, and to laugh and joke together, these are all, you know, fun things. But there's only one problem. <laughs> we can't, nobody can speak or listen to in English very well. Uh, yeah. How many times this has happened where I've gone into a local school here in advanced, advanced class and you play something, a CNN clip, you know, some kind of documentary, not my voice because they'd say, oh, you're American voice, you don't speak with a British accent. You know, okay, well, I can try to speak with a British accent, but what about CNN? What about the BBC? Can you listen to that? No, no. They don't understand this term. They don't understand this term. They don't understand this phrasal verb. Well, what do they understand? Well, basically, they've been walked through grammar books uh, since uh, for a long time, and uh, which is has its benefits because there it's at least at a foundation point where they can build on their language ability. Usually, it only takes four or five months to to make a real solid progress. So this is my job is to, uh, you know, no smoke and mirrors. We're, basically, I push students to be able to listen to English and, uh, in a short period of time and to be able to speak. Not with all the, not trying to sm sound smart and to use, you know, a lot of different uh, phrases, but to be able to ask questions until everything is clear and to be able to understand pretty much everything. That's even more important there. So. You know, so uh, uh, I know there's a lot of young teachers out there and they seem to radiate energy, but uh, I have yet to meet uh, students who have a good foundation speaking and listening skills. So you got a lot of young ladies, they seem to dominate this field, uh, the, uh, especially young people are used to being taught by ladies and women in schools and whatnot. And so, you know, the men and the men also can uh, just come into a school and just talk and talk and talk. But I'm interested in getting um, real language comprehension, speaking and listening. And so this is what uh, I want to accomplish with every student here. So I've been here for 12 years in Russia, teaching at universities, presidents of banks, heads of corporations, students of all ages. And uh, so, uh, yeah, let's do it. Give it, give it a chance there. Unless you're looking for, you know, uh, the usual young person just to sit and talk and, and chat with. In that case, you better keep looking there. But nice to meet you.